Welcome. I, I'm, I know it's a little, I, I should have done jazz hands with it. I've been making a bunch of videos and I'm kind of tired of making videos and I feel like I'm like, ah, so you get that. And yes, I know if I were smart and professional and whatnot, I would totally not do this as the intro or I would edit it out. Nah, this is what you get. So hi, welcome to the SCIE 1121L. So this is the lab part for environmental science. I am Linda Bernhardt. I'm your instructor for this next 17 weeks. I will be making a variety of videos. Some videos are previously made and I'm not going to redo and they should be listed as previously recorded, but looking at them, you should totally be able to tell it's a previously recorded one. <clears throat> and the reason I am just keeping some of the previously recorded ones is because I'm actually doing the lab and um, as much as I kind of want to redo some of them, I can't guarantee how much time I will have to do it. So if I have the occasion to redo some of these lab videos, I 100% will. I will, however, try to do updates every week or two, video updates, so I can tell you, you know, give some feedback on how you guys are doing and that kind of thing. Um, yeah, so I am about to share the screen. I don't know why I tell, why I say that. It's obvious. So here we go. And yes, I'm saying so a million times. This is the lab. If you are in the lab and the class, make sure when you are doing lab stuff, you are in the lab. Lab is identified by this image and it says lab. If you are doing class stuff, it's going to look like this. This is the class. This is the lab. I am talking about the lab right now. Um, oh, real quick, because when I did the the massive recording for the class. I forgot to do the stuff about me until the very end. So just so you're warned, I have the alphabet soup thing. I am on the autism spectrum. I have PTSD, CPTSD. I have ADHD and anxiety, both social and general. And um, yeah, I think that mostly covers it. And I have asthma, so you can hear me cough and crap a lot of the times. Well, not cough and crap. You know what I mean? Um... I'm very much a fly by the seat of your pants kind of person. And so you're going to have every last little bit of me throughout every recording. I do not edit these. I feel sorry for anyone who watches them, but I also know not everybody watches them. The reason I do these is because online courses, you can feel so alone. I have done plenty of online courses and it is a pet peeve of mine that I feel like I don't even have an instructor. I feel like it is just, here is some information now be a monkey and punch the buttons. That's honestly how it feels to me. And I don't like my name being on something like that. I wish I had a teacher who was more interactive. And so I am the teacher I wish I had, if that makes sense. So I'm also very wordy. My apologies, kind of, not really. It's just who I am. So deal with it. Anyway, so welcome to the lab. When you are doing the lab, make sure you are answering questions for the lab. You have assignments in the lab. And if you are also taking the class, you have assignments in the class. They are two totally different things. The grades do not connect. So if you are enrolled in both, make darn sure you are doing the assignments in both. All right, let's jump on in, shall we? So. You have all these nifty little things up here, but I would recommend using the ones along here unless you just go to content. So important papers and such. This is going to be the syllabus and about your semester long project. Yes, there is a semester long project, which is different than the group presentation for the class. This semester long project is extensive. It takes the whole semester. There is a separate video about the semester long project, so I will not be discussing it in this one. Just watch the other one. So let's take a look at that syllabus, shall we? So here is your syllabus. We've got all this information. Um, office location and office hours. It's just Zoom. I can't guarantee when. Don't worry about this. I just had to put something. If you have a need to meet with me, shoot me a message, preferably to this email or this phone number, and we will go back and forth. We will agree upon a time. 
If you do not say, yes, that time works for me, I am not going to assume that it does. You will make suggestions of when is good for you. I will counter. We will decide on a proper time and then we will meet. It does not have to be Thursday at one. It can be just about any day. It's just I have four jobs. And so it might take a little bit of finagling to fix it. But we will meet if you need to meet, period. Now, I mentioned these two things a second ago. Anytime you need anything from me, the best way to reach me is either this email or this phone number. Notice it says text. If you call this number, I'm not going to answer it. If you text this number, tell me, SGSC, your name and which course. If you do that, you only have to do it once. I will keep that first text from you so I will always know how to answer your questions. These two are the fastest way to get any kind of response from me. If you send me a message through Brightspace, I might get it right away. It might be a day or two. I do not always log into Brightspace every single day. I'm willing to bet none of you log in every single day. But I don't want you to have to wait to get an answer. So if you use one of these two methods to contact me, you will get a response from me so much faster. If you use that instant messenger in Brightspace, I can't guarantee I'm going to get it. So far, that has been the worst way to contact me. And um, I have had it where a month later, I find an instant message. I have had it where after the term closed, I found an instant message. There is the instant message and the email message in Brightspace. The email one, I am more likely to get, but I would rather you use one of these two ways to contact me. It's the fastest way to get me. There is no textbook for this course. That's what all this stuff is. This is the important part. I use the point system and these are how you get your points. You have a quiz this week. It's actually open for two weeks because some people get added late, but you have a quiz and an introduction discussion to do. If you do those two things, you've already earned 100 points. Bam. Easiest grades ever. Then you have 12 official labs. You get 50 points for each lab if you actually do it. If you don't do it correctly, you're not going to get 50 points. If you go above and beyond, you might get more than 50 points. You then have the semester long project, which is worth 200 points which is an entire two letter grades based on my point system. And then a final exam at the very end, which is worth 100 points. So through the entire 17 weeks, I will make a minimum of 1,000 points available to you. How much you pick up is up to you. The beauty of the point system is when you've earned those points, they're yours forever. So if you have 825 points, and it's nowhere near the end, and you just are done, you don't feel like doing it, that's fine. You will get a solid B. It will never go down. Your points only go up. So don't worry about the percentage. Worry about how many points you have. I'm trying to make this quick. I'm freezing out here. So here is the breakdown for the course, the weeks, and the dates. These are the things you're covering. Please note right here, it says plant lab do. You are going to be growing plants for a couple of weeks. If you could go ahead and start looking for the seeds now, not a bad idea. I think it talks about radish seeds and stuff like that. I'm gonna try, I'm trying to make a mental note to put up a, an announcement about it. But if you get your seeds ahead of time, it just might make your life easier. So these are the various labs that will be available. Notice here that in week 16, your final project is due. You're supposed to be working on it the entire term. Week 10 is spring break. Yay! Grading system points, I already told you that. Big part here is end of the course, I do not round grades. That means if you have 899 points, you have a B. I do not round up at all. Um, Main reason is because I make more than a thousand points available. If you do not get an A, it is because you chose not to do things. That's literally it. Every single term I have taught this, there are people who finish with well over on a hundred percent, like 124 percent 
happens quite often. You just have to actually do what you're supposed to do. That's it. I do not accept late work because everything's open from Sunday to Friday, minimum. You have plenty of time to do it. If you choose not to open the lab until the very last day, that's not my problem. Remember that some of these labs will take time. So I would suggest starting early. If you start early, you can actually have every single week off from or weekend off from this course. Everything will close Friday night at 10 and it doesn't open until Sunday morning. So I've already forced it where you have Saturday off. If you go ahead and knock your workout between like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you can have every weekend free from this course. When you attach a file, it has to be a .doc, .docx, or a .pdf. That means PDF or a Word document. Google Docs is not acceptable. Um, WordPerfect, not acceptable. Screenshot from your phone, not acceptable. If you attach anything other than these three formats, you will receive a zero. That's it, period. This is the reminder of what I just said a moment ago, that everything's due Friday night at 10. Not Saturday, not 11.59, Friday, 10 p.m. At Friday at 10 p.m., bam, it locks. I will not reopen it. If you wait until the very last minute to do it or to turn it in, not my fault if you can't do it. You will receive a response of, I am sorry you had trouble. Next time, start earlier. This is not me trying to be a meanie or anything. It's time for you, the student, not saying everybody does this, but this is the most common, to stop procrastinating. Don't put it off to the last minute. I promise you do not work better under pressure. Start to prioritize what you're doing. Get it done. Turn it in. Um, this I just kind of scooch past. This last part right here, midterm grade. Your midterm grade is gonna be posted from everything you've turned in from week one through week seven. Once I finish grading the stuff from week seven, I will post midterm grades at the beginning of week eight. And if you are not where you wanna be and you're considering dropping the course, contact me, we can do a back and forth. We can see if it's possible for you to get the grade you want by the end. Or if you need to drop, up to you. If you get into this course and you do the first couple of things, the proof that you are in this course, and then you just don't turn anything else in, I will plug in a zero for every single assignment. I do not drop you. Um, you will only be dropped if you withdraw from the course. But if you are, if you have a rough beginning, but you still kind of want to finish out the course at midterm, contact me. We will discuss it and I will tell you exactly what you need to do in order to do well. This AI crap, just don't do it. It's going to irritate me. And it is rather obvious unless you just aren't great at how you talk. AI, when you get into this stuff, doesn't work very well, just so you know. Okay, so that was the syllabus. Semester-long project is important stuff, but again, that's a totally different video. Zoom office. This is a link. So when you say that you want to meet with me and I say, okay, do you know where to meet me? It's here. That's it. And finally, I think I've already said it, but I'm going to say it again. Every week, in order to access anything, you have to open that file. So until you open the week one file, you will not have access to anything. So these, there's a bunch of words, but these words help set you up. These will answer a lot of questions. And then it gives you the hyperlinks of the stuff for the week. So I myself would actually read the words. It's helpful. Um, I think that's about it. That's most of the course. I know it can be overwhelming, the idea of doing an online lab, but it is 100% possible. Everything's broken down. But you have to realize lab takes time. You are not going to be able to open it up and do it in 30 minutes. I don't think any of the labs will be done within 30 minutes. So please do not wait until the last minute to do it and then be like, oh, I had no idea it was going to take this long. Lab courses, in-person lab courses are typically two hour long classes. 
if not more, every week. And so you should basically plan to do a minimum of two hours worth of work. Sometimes it'll be faster. Sometimes it won't be. Some of the labs, you're going to have to collect stuff for a couple of days. Other ones, it might go just like that. It's up to you. Like there's a couple of them where you basically play a game and you're supposed to get to a certain point. If you're great with it, it's not going to take you as long. If you're not great with it, it's going to take you longer. So please, please, please do not wait until the very last minute to do the labs. Um, I guess that's about it. So I guess the final part is just reminder. If you have questions, ask. Be clear. If I don't understand what you're asking, I'm going to ask for clarification. It's not that you were not communicating properly. It's just that I'm not understanding it enough. If at any point during the term, it feels like you're just drowning and your brain is about to explode, <clears throat> please remember your mental health is more important. Shoot me a message. Let me know that you're having this breakdown so we can work stuff out. Being a little proactive, even when you're melting down, will help you. I will do what I can to work with you. But if you just disappear for like a month and then come back and say, okay, will you reopen stuff? I can't, I can't quite do that. Um, that will take a whole lot of extra special stuff. So when, if this happens to you, when you start drowning, just send me a message and just say, hey, I'm having this kind of personal stuff, blah, blah, blah. I'll see if you want to talk. We will work something out. I will work with you because your mental health is more important than the class. I don't want this course or any college courses at all to be the reason somebody completely melts down. Life happens and I get that. So just talk to me if it starts to happen and I will help you to the best of my ability. Um, and I guess that's it. My battery is almost dead. so. It has to be. It, it hasn't quite turned red, but it's getting close. And um, yeah, so welcome. And I look forward to this term going decently. Peace out.